Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. You know what time it is. It's coffee with Candace time. I hope you guys are uh, having a really great day and trying to stay calm and just, um, I hope you guys are doing all right with all of this news and all the craziness that's happening in the world right now. So, um, you know, I had geared Coffee with Candace towards the international side starting a few weeks ago, but of course I wanna bring it back locally to what we're all kind of dealing with. Um, I've had a lot of questions and a lot of conversations based around the COVID-19 and what is, what is this gonna look like for our economy and our real estate market and what's kind of happening um, here locally as well. So as you guys probably already know, um, Governor Sisolak did his press release last night. Um, so starting today, we are on a 30-day lockdown for any non-essential businesses, which would be casinos, um, casinos, hotels, restaurants, uh, things of that nature. Um, so the essential businesses are still staying open, and that does include grocery stores, gas stations, um, all professional type of offices such as real estate offices, uh, lenders, banks, um, lawyers, doctors, things of that nature. So, of course, with the not with the essential businesses, we always need water, food, and shelter, right? So, like in any situation, those are the three main things that we always need. And so, I just want you to know that when it comes to shelter, please feel free to reach out to me if you need anything at all. If you need help figuring out a situation, if you need help, you know, just adjusting based on your own personal economic, you know, financials right now, just please feel free to reach out and let's just chat a little bit. I want to make sure that everybody is safe and protected and feeling as calm as possible in this moment of uncertainty. And so with that being said, in this world, or in this world, <laughs> I don't want to get all crazy on you. Uh, I wanted to address what the financial world calls this type of situation. It's actually, they've got a, a name for it, and it's called a black swan, which is um, something similar to like 9-11, if you want to kind of uh, correlate it to something that we all know. This would not be considered the economic crisis of 2008. It's really, it's not mimicking at all that type of uh, recession. It is closer... Um, in correlation to what happened in 9-11, where a natural disaster or something completely out of the blue happens and that changes the state of the economy. It changes what's happening um, immediately. You know, So typically a black swan is fast to adjust and then fast to recover. And so with that being said, one of the things that, one of the facts that I take um, just a positive uh, indication for how resilient we will be is the fact that over 50% of homeowners have over 50% of equity in their home currently in the United States. So the majority of Americans are in a much better financial position than they ever were in 2008. And, and even like in the past, I mean, we're staying in our homes longer and we're just, we're not out leveraging the equity that we have in our home, which is awesome. So uh, hopefully you can take a little bit of comfort in that. And then also a little additional comfort that I take with a fact is that the majority of casinos and hotels have started to do layoffs, but not let goes. So a lot of the people who are being laid off are in some way taken care of through hopefully some form of unemployment. And we also are working on a stimulus package. Um, I actually just got an alert about an hour ago. It's called, I don't wanna get this wrong, it's called the HR 6201 Families First Coronavirus Response Act. So um, they just went ahead and passed that through the House of Representatives. It's now on to um, the Senate. And so we shall see what actually comes about as far as what the government's going to do to help um, bring a stimulus package into our area and just try to make sure we get ahead of this and stick together. So we are all in this together. I would like to let you know, just please remain calm. Um, the, the cool thing too about all of this is that we have so much more technology than we ever did in the past. I mean, I've been able to take clients on property tours via FaceTime and also just sending them videos. Um, all of our electronic, like our docs are signed electronically. So it is business as usual for the most part. So we're still seeing buyers and sellers actively listing and selling, uh, listing and buying. Um, my title company is all electronic. So we're still able to, you know, do signings and closings 
and fund and record currently. Um, also, you know, banks are still open, so things are still really moving forward. And again, like just taking precautions myself, like I'm keeping gloves and booties in my car, hand sanitizer, and just making sure to be very mindful of not going out into public spaces that I don't need to be. You know, so social distancing without disconnecting. And I hope that resonates with you guys because we are all in this together. Um, I want you to know that uh, you don't let fear drive any decision. You know, for the most part, it takes about 48 hours for people to process a piece of information non-emotionally. So if you're concerned and you're thinking, oh shit, I gotta sell, or oh man, I really gotta buy, or oh, I gotta move, like we gotta get things going. Take a breath, take a minute, make sure you reach out to someone that you trust and you can have a good conversation with. And typically it takes about 48 hours for your emotional well being to settle down enough for you to make a rational decision. So um, I am always here to help. Please feel free to give me a call, regardless of. If you, do, if you have to buy or sell, whatever, I don't care. That's not why I'm here. I just want you to know that you're, you've got a friend. You're not in this alone. We're definitely in this together. And uh, just want to make sure you're all taken care of. So um, I look forward to having more conversations with you and connecting. I'm actually taking this as a little bit of a, a positive pause in my crazy busy life for the most part where I can actually have some really good conversations with friends and family that I've been really wanting to have for a long time. So I look forward to chatting with each and every one of you and uh, yeah, we'll talk to you soon. Vanderbilt Realty Solutions, I'm here moving you forward. Take care. Bye.